Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Going to do your love reading here for February, the rest of February 2023. Hope you guys are doing well. If you would like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. You can book your reading with me. And um, yeah, please be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. And uh, you don't have to be a Virgo to get these readings. You could be Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, okay? So hi, everybody in the chat. Hope you guys are doing well. Let's get started. Is so. Lightning, a sudden change. This is a tower energy, okay? So it's going to be definitely a sudden change happening here. Some shocking news, a surprise. Someone's having a, an epiphany. There's an upheaval and a transformation occurring, okay? So let's see, let's get more into this, Virgo. Let's see what the messages are. What else does Virgo need to know? Okay, wow, ascending. Definitely, look, transcending obstacles. Lower, learning. Sorry, I almost said lowering expectations. <laughs> learning, expansion, a new phase, preparing for union, Virgo. Okay, let me just give it to you straight here. There's somebody here, and we'll go into the reading more and find out what's going on, but it looks like someone is having an epiphany about a relationship and is sending and ascending and, and uh, preparing to be coming to union with you. Okay, let me see. Let me see what else can Virgo know about this situation or this connection with someone here. Somebody's getting themselves ready. Okay. Hmm. All right, Virgo. Kisses and not today. I feel like someone is hanging the phone up on other people. Yes, I do. Okay. Give me a second here. Oh, gosh, Virgo. Someone's in love with you here. Really? Seriously? Kisses, giving and receiving affection, falling in love, unconditional love, and not today, not dealing with some hurt, avoiding a conversation, call a person, boundaries. It feels like somebody is making a decision here to um, not engage with either another person or other people because of you. Um, they're having an epiphany. It feels like someone is, okay, look, I just saw the Ten of Cups here at the bottom. Somebody wants to come into union here with you, Virgo. I mean, this is lovely. Okay. Wow. Five of Cups just flew out like that. Yeah. There's a grieving process. Wow. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like somebody really misses you here, Virgo. Seriously. Like, grieving. They can't even look at another person. And that Seven of Pentacles is like contemplation. Did they make the right decision? How do they, you know, how do they go about reinvesting into this relationship now at this point? Okay, Virgo, you know what? You know what? I just, okay, so we have earth energy and we have water energy here. I just get this really strong vibe here that someone is regretting letting something go or letting you go or letting a, re a relationship go or not fighting for something here. And yeah, their intuition is calling them. They're getting like, they're feeling these vibes here. Um, with that seven of pentacles, I feel like this person is patiently waiting and trying to figure out how to come back to you, okay? preparing that they're preparing for union i feel like someone is just feeling such a sense of loss and regret about a relationship ending okay yeah look at that so much contemplation nine of wands here somebody here is like re-strategizing this just screams to me somebody here is just so in love with you virgo could be a Pisces too. I'm picking up. I'm also picking up fire energy, but we'll see if any court cards show up. Somebody here, they may have been in another relationship with someone or they just were in a slew or a number of relationships that just wasn't working or things. This person is basically beat up and they're exhausted and they are tired of frivolous relationships or, um, you know, 
things that they got themselves involved in. I feel like, you know, I just get a sense that this person does not want to uh, lose you. They, they want to come in and try to work on something here, prepare to try to get into union. They're just having this big wake up call. And it has a lot to do with this person feeling a sense of remorse or regret. And making a decision here, contemplating, did they do the right thing? Letting you go or ending the relationship. Okay. Let's see if we can find out more about this person. Okay. So, four of wands, sideways. Okay. There was a huge potential here for a long-term commitment, family situation, marriage, reunion, huge potential okay so it's not upright it's not reversed you know it, it's still there on the table but there, it's an iffy it's an iffy energy and i feel like it has a lot more to do with this person not sure if you are going to or would be willing to try again with them or to take them back if they came forward okay but i can tell you what i'm seeing here is this person is pretty much on their own hanging up the phone and other people they're not dealing with another person place or a thing um there's someone else that may keep calling them or reaching out to them because they want to be with them and this person is just like no no not interested in anything with the other person okay um it's an 11 11 though all right let me see let me see. Virgo, I don't know. Like, I feel like, you know, oh, gosh. Yeah, they're doing this whole cutoff, cutting off other people. Whoever they are connecting with, if it's one person or other people, they are 100% like, just stop calling me. Stop texting me. They're really not responding or they're hanging up the phone. They're avoiding another person or other people. They're in this position of like, you know, five of cups energy, 100%, loss, regret, grief, feeling abandoned, feeling unloved, that kind of thing, not, not feeling like anything can really go anywhere with another person. They don't want the other person. They don't want another person. They want you. They want to be with you, Virgo. Okay, so let me take a look at you here because I do feel like... Let me see if this person's going to reach out because this feels mostly like an epiphany right now, okay? What's going on with this person when they're alone or they're home alone, thinking about you, thinking about, you know, regret, having some regret. Let me see if there's going to be a reach out. Mm. Not quite yet, I guess. You know, this person is like stressing big time. A lot of anxiety and a lot of stress in regards to like how they're feeling very melancholy uh, like strong grief happening here okay let's see will this person overcome this and reach out to virgo oh gosh all the cards all the cards today all the cards hmm. okay yeah I, I just feel like they keep giving me the same thing you know um this is like delay. They're not quite ready. They're fearing rejection uh, from you. Um, they don't want to have a false start. There's definitely a delay here. Okay. I feel like this person feels like it might be too soon to come towards you. They don't want to get rejected. So they're kind of like hesitating, stepping back a little bit, hesitating. Okay, yeah, trying to figure things out, trying to learn about what's happening with them. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely having an awakening here that they're missing you and they're just 100% in love with you. Yeah, when things stabilize, that's what I'm hearing. When things stabilize for them, maybe on the financial front or in their home life, um, right now they're very focused on their skills when it comes to their work, improving their skills. You could be going back to school or uh, learning some new things on the job. You know, um, I just keep getting this energy of like, you know, they're really missing you. 
they feel like they made a mistake or they feel like they shouldn't have let you go. Um, they're really feeling the remorse and the regret, but to kind of make themselves not dwell on it too much right now because they're not ready to come forward just yet. They are focusing on their career, their finances, their money, their work um, to make improvements in their everyday life. You know, the, the, the daily grind kind of stuff here. Virgo, let me see what's going on with you. Let's see what your energy is in relation to this person. Virgo's energy in relation to this person. Interestingly enough, there were no court cards, so it really could be any one of the four elements, earth, water, air, or fire, okay? But you never know, it might show up. So far, nothing yet. Okay, what's Virgo's energy? <laughs> they don't wanna tell me. What's Virgo's energy towards this person? Oh, wow. Wow, Virgo, you got the five, <laughs> five pentacles. Virgo's like, bring that bloody stump. Don't come out over here with no bloody stump. Virgo, that's your energy towards this person. This is the card that you might feel like they abandoned you or it was a struggle relationship. Um, you feel like they left you out in the cold. You, like, I, you don't have very positive feelings towards this person. And your energy here is, you know, like I said, they got to come in with that, you know, that's my bloody stunt card. They got to come in like barely able to walk and willing to, you know, lean on you and, and, but do it the right way. You know what I mean? Like sacrifice, but your energy definitely is, <clears throat> excuse me. You're trying to keep the faith to some, in some regard, but you're not, <clears throat> excuse me, overly hopeful that things are going to change. Okay. So let me see what else is going on here, Virgo. Yeah, right. They got to come in with that offer. It's got to be the real. It's got to be real. And they got to open up and express how they feel, Virgo. And I, I feel like that's your energy towards them. Like if they're going to come in um, to prepare for some kind of union with you here, like they have to open up and express their feelings. This person, the way I see you viewing it is that they were very cold and distant and really weren't sharing how they felt about you, like left you out in the cold, okay? And some of you are also in relation to them. Your thought process is, okay, you're gonna come in and make these love offers, but leave me out in the cold again or abandon again. Like, I feel like your energy towards this person is like, you know, because the knights, as we always like to say, I mean, that's a nice offer and it, it is somebody that comes forward, but you know, this is like a love proposal or like um, like a proposal of sorts. Proposals are made one time <laughs> and then we don't go back and we don't keep proposing over and over and over, right? But knights, this is like, um, knights keep moving. Horses have four legs, they're meant for movement, okay? And I feel like um, some of you may view that this person makes these proposals and then ditches you again or set, yeah, see? And then they keep coming, <clears throat> excuse me, and then they keep coming back to break your, some of you are like, this, is this person just purposely keeps coming back to just break my heart again? Yeah, Virgo, I mean, I, we will take a look at the outcome, okay? We will take a look at the outcome, but I just kind of feel like it's, you, you're not so keen on, you're kind of like, I don't care if they're in love, I don't care if they're preparing for union, I don't care at this point, because there's a breach of trust, perhaps, or something here that you just don't trust that they're going to come in with this energy. So look, you've got the nine of wands, or I'm sorry, the seven of wands. So you have very defensive, you're like, back off, mf -er. Yeah, you're not trying to get yourself back into a position where you're going to just get heartbroken again. You're, you've got your boundaries up. You definitely have boundaries up here, Virgo in relation to this person like you're not falling for the okie doke at least that's how i feel your your energy is towards this person in um february okay yeah you want the truth look ace of swords cut the shit cut the crap that's your energy towards this person okay let me see what the outcome what's the outcome energy here for virgo and this person what is the outcome 
Yeah, because you're kind of like, all right, they're going to come in and make this sweet offer, but then they will they just keep coming in. They just keep coming back and sticking another knife in my heart. You know, you're not opening yourself up to this. They, and they know it. And I think that's why this person is like kind of delaying coming back in because they know that's why they feel like they could get rejected because some of you w will push back. Some of you might, or you already are, or they just know that they can't keep coming back in and doing this without really making that solid offer and sticking with it. They know that they've broken your trust. Okay. Let's see the outcome. What is the possible outcome for this relationship with Virgo and this person? Okay, we have a sideways. Hmm. Queen of Cups. Sideways. Okay, so that can go both ways. Let me see. Let me get another. Okay. And the Ace of Pentacles sideways. Uh, it's still kind of a potential. Do you know what I mean? And it's still kind of a delay. <clears throat> as far as this person so this always makes me feel like a slow you know is this person going to open up and share how they feel i feel like yeah but it's just a little bit at a time it's not going to be like a tsunami of emotion um and i also feel like the opportunity is is in the works here for things to actually shift um and for the truth to come out and for this person um you know, it's crazy because it kind of feels to me like their energy here, when I look at this, is like they don't want to smother, but they don't want to be so distant. Um, they're hesitating about, you know, when they're not sure when the opportunity is going to arise. They're kind of waiting for the opportunity to arise to talk to you, but they're not sure how you're going to take it. They're, they're not sure if you're going to believe it or trust it. Okay, so Seven of Cups reversed. Okay, so as far as an outcome goes here, this really does feel to me like um, this person is fully learned from the past, okay? Um, they have their clarity, their illusions kind of ending, you know, they have a restored sense of like really stopping ghosting. Um, they, they, this person, I don't know what happened. I don't know what you did. I don't know like why this person all of a sudden is getting some clarity, but the energy, it's like a lightning bolt. Like I said, the tower, a tower moment's hitting this person. <clears throat> they come to terms. Like I feel before they make a move right now, <clears throat> the energy I'm picking up is they're gaining that clarity about <sighs> what you mean to them. Okay. How important you are to them in their life. Right. I do feel like it's going to lean more towards them, you know, really coming clean with things. But this, you know, if the trust is broken, that's going to take some time to restore. Okay. Um, I, I don't feel like just let's just take a magic pill and everything's going to be okay. And it's just all going to be forgotten about. I think it's going to be, um, it's a long road ahead for you, Virgo. It is. Um, let me see what the love love messages are here i mean this i do feel like this uh, the overall message here though is that i do feel like this person is coming to terms they're having that awakening they're having that tower moment they're feeling the loss they're feeling the grief they really love you they're and they're coming to terms with how they really feel okay and they they're, definitely it's preparation it's preparation to have long-term uh union with you okay now some of you <clears throat> might be like yes great finally an awakening is happening this person you know got a zinger <laughs> to the head and you know they got reset themselves yeah some of you might be happy about that and you know i can work on stuff and others of you are like no because some of you might just be completely like no on to the next and i know i know i see you in the chat there i know okay so there will be some flirtation um so i kind of feel like this person when they do start kind of making their way back around, um, it's it's not going to be, okay, let's sit down to the table and get the business, get to work. There's going to be some flirtations starting, and I feel like it's very light energy. Any communication or things like that, it's, it's just going to be very um, little flirtatious. That's what this Kisses card is here, okay? Um, so some sweet messages sweet little phone call or like a very gentle 
flirtations. Um, that's like the primer before um, there's a sit down to have a conversation about things or just this person before the floodgates open and they begin to express themselves. Because they do feel like they will express how they feel about you. Okay. Staying optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay. Um, so that energy is definitely going to be playing out here. This person is trying to stay optimistic that things can get back to, like you guys can finish what you start, I'm just hearing. Um, and they're hopeful, you know, um, that you will give them a chance to talk, um, to try to resolve any problems, things like that. There you go. Reconciliation, Virgo. Okay. So, yeah, there's definitely an energy of that playing out here, Virgo, for February. And it's just going to be very slow. <laughs> Virgo's like, Virgo, if that's something you want. Like, you're going to have to, like, you're going to have to activate your patience. <laughs> that's all I can say. <clears throat> you're going to have to activate your patience if that's something that you want. Um, but if it's, you know, if you don't, you can, you just click off the video or just keep moving it forward, you know. Stay single as Bringle and hope for new love. Let me see what the messages of love here are in regards to this relationship. Chemistry. Wow, the very strong chemistry here between you and this person. Your person. Very strong. Chemistry is not compatibility, but chemistry is there. There was definitely a connection. The attraction you both feel is mutual, so that's definitely there. Okay. There's no doubt that you can cross that off the list, Virgo. The chemistry was established. You guys have some kind of an understanding, or you did. Apart from everything else in the connection, there was definitely an understanding of some sort. You gelled. You vibed in some way. Um, and I feel like you're not going to kind of pursue or push this. Uh, you kind of want to see if somebody's going to follow through with what they say, but you're not really, you're not committing to anything with someone here, okay? Not just yet. Some of you might be willing and open to hear somebody out. Doesn't mean you're making a decision, though. It's an apology. You're definitely going to get an apology, Virgo. You can expect the apology you want to hear. This person, Virgo, is going to give you an apology for... The way something went down or something that might have happened if there was cheating or a three, third party. I mean, you know, if you want to hear it, you will you will be getting it, okay? Or, sorry, you know, I'm hearing sorry for things that happened, you know, uh, sorry for the argument we had, sorry that A, B, C, or D, definitely apology, but, you know, apologies don't mean anything unless amends are made, Okay, because then they're just manipulation. So some of you will take that with a grain of salt. If there's anything, if there's nothing to follow through after that apology, then it's just words. Okay, here's the thing though. Integrity, does this relationship align with your values and morals with this person? Does this person, is their integrity, does this person, their beliefs, their values and morals align with yours. And I feel like, Virgo, you're going to be questioning that. It's not just about the chemistry. Are we compatible? Do we have the same beliefs? Are they similar? Are we in alignment with, like, do we value the same things? Okay. Soulmate. There's a soulmate connection here. Definitely. Okay. So it might be just, for somebody, this is like a rediscovering. If that's something that you want, I feel like there's a rediscovering of each other. Let me just see how this person is like feeling their hidden feelings for Virgo. What are their hidden feelings? Like what they would say to Virgo um, if they could talk <laughs> or when they do finally come out and communicate and express their emotions, what would they tell Virgo? So many things remind me of you, Virgo. They're seeing things. They're seeing signs. They can't get away from it. Um, things that remind them of you are just popping up everywhere out of the blue. They're constant. Like they're getting all of these. It almost feels like you really, I don't know. It's like your essence hasn't really left this person. 
I wish I could take back my words. Yeah, there might have been an argument. Somebody, there, there was an argument of some sort. Things that were said. I feel like maybe somebody wishes that they hadn't said them. You know, once words are out there, that's it. You can't take them back. <clears throat> so I feel like this person is regretting something that they told you or something that they said or a reason that they gave for something. Oh, okay. The timing just wasn't right for us. You know, it's interesting because it, I don't, if you saw that flipped out, then it flipped right back, but it didn't fully go back. I feel like for some of you, this person might have just said it's not the right time for us, but I don't really feel like, I feel like that might have been more of an excuse. I don't really feel like this person fully believed that. I feel like the timing was right. They were either just avoidant or scared um, to get close. As soon as there was that closeness possibly came along, I feel like this person, maybe they ran from it or it was just like, whoa. Okay, but they can't stop thinking about you, Virgo. That's what's going on here with this person. Like you are <laughs> constantly on their mind constantly on their mind like they they keep trying they can't stop the thoughts of you coming in and i will wait for a sign from you wow virgo that's that's why this person is in like waiting mode hesitation because they they don't want to just come at you because they've come at you before and then they put another knife in your heart and they know that if they were to come at you again that you're just going to look at it and say, oh, you know, patterns don't change. And you're just going to, they know you're not going to trust it. So they're waiting to see if you're going to give them an opening, an invitation. This person waits for the invitation. They're waiting for the invite. If, if you give them the invite, then they will come. But if you don't, then they won't. Now, some of you are like, not getting any invites from me. <laughs> Don't RSVP, nothing. No invites. Some of you, okay, that's where you're at. Others of you are hesitant to give an invite because you don't want to invite any toxic energy. So you don't know if you do invite, if this is going to happen. There's such a breach of trust here. But things can't be repaired unless there's um, two people willing to sit down and have open dialogue. Okay, so they're waiting for you. To, to give an invite, okay? Any kind of sign, anything. They see anything. They know that you don't trust them. It's a shame. You know what? The deceit that we practice towards other people always comes back. You know, when we go and deceive other people, we in the end wind up deceiving ourselves. And, you know, I feel like this person, rather than be honest and above board and open, have open communication and dialogue, chose to be more deceptive. And they are paying the price for that more than you think and more than you are. And that's just how it works in life. When you tell the truth, you never have to remember what you said. When you tell the truth, when you're open and honest with other people, you never have to hide. <laughs> you know, what's in the dark always comes to light. So let me see. Anything else here for Virgo? Oh, I wish I had treated you better. Yeah, a lot of regret here, Virgo. This person's got a lot of regret and remorse. Maybe that's their karma. Carmen never forgets an address. Treat somebody badly. That that's, you know, that reflects more on the person who does it than the person who receives it. Okay. I couldn't let you get close to me. Oh, and there they wound it up with this. Finish it off. Finish and strong. Couldn't let you get close to me. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Yep, this person's a sabotager. Sabotage. And then they wind up alone. They're winding up alone, and now they're here with their grief and lost about it, and they don't want to talk to anybody else. They keep repeating cycles. Okay, we have sign of the rooster, and we have a goat. Okay, a goat again, year of the horse, 
Year of the Dragon. We have the dog. Monkey. Rat. And rat again. And the tiger. Okay, that could be you. It could be your person. It might be none of you. So take it with a grain of salt there. Okay, let me get you guys some numbers and dates. Sorry if that's loud in your ear. <clears throat> All right. Somebody is 40. We have double Gemini, Libra, and Scorpio. Um, okay, they're giving me the number 611. 611. Um, let's see. 1987, 1971, um, September 12th, September 2nd. Somebody's 50 years of age. Um, so we've got double Libra, Gemini, and Leo. <clears throat> we have the 111 here. Um, the year 2022, very significant year for somebody here. Uh, let's see, September 4th, September 8th. Also, they said September 22nd. Okay, somebody is 48 years of age. What other messages here? Okay, there's that wheelchair person again. Let's see. Okay, they just said Jax. Jax. Uh, Jax. Maybe Jacksonville? Or is that an airport? Jax? J-A-X? Okay, somebody's from Jersey. Um, somebody was born in 1964. Somebody's a jerk. Somebody's jerking you around. No, I'm just kidding. All right, we've got the letter P. I just heard Kingpin. <laughs> Kingpin. I don't know what the heck that is. Wasn't that a movie? Kingpin. All right, let me see. What else do we have? Um, okay, total dragon vibes here. I'm getting total dragon vibes. Um, dragon lizard. All right, letter P again, maybe Penelope or somebody's initials are PP. PP. Somebody has to PP. Do you have to PP? Okay. Uh, somebody's African American. Beautiful. Likes to, to dress us very well, also. Um, dresses like to the nines. Very beautiful. Um, they're also telling me uh, that they're giving me September 17th, um, August 28th. I'm getting again. Uh, August 23rd, and somebody's a Sagittarius. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of stuff going on here. All right, 1024, so is that October 24th? Maybe that would be like a cusp of Libra Scorpio energy. Um, hmm, hold on a minute. Now, hold, hang on, hang on. Okay, somebody, there's something here to do with a clock shop. A clock shop. You know, you go into a, a clock shop to get your clock fixed or your watch fixed. Maybe it's a jeweler's looking at watches or a stopwatch. There's a stopwatch. You could be looking at a stopwatch. Maybe you're doing something with a stopwatch or a timer also. Okay, somebody has blue a blue a suitcase set that's blue. Okay. You know, yesterday, you guys, I had a crescent moon and a star, and I think I said something about a flag or Asian flag. Um, and then I came to realize later on that that is the symbol flag for Turkey. 
So I just was like, oh, okay, that's very strange. I didn't realize that. And I know all that stuff is going on in Turkey with those earthquakes and everything. So I'm not sure why that came out um, and why I couldn't get the full message. But maybe somebody, there was a message in there yesterday for someone in regards to um, the Turkish people. Okay, so they're giving me the letter H and initials they're giving me um the, uh, the letter z as well and i'm also just picking up now the letter t as in tom or uh tammy or uh, just the letter t okay and okay um I'm hearing the song now. Oh, I never meant to cause you any sorrow. I never meant to cause you any pain. Uh, Prince, Purple Rain. Okay, I'm hearing Prince, Purple Rain. And okay, they just gave me McDonald's, the Golden Arches, French fries. Oh, <laughs> just heck. I can't with these messages. Just McDonald's, the hamburgers, um, Ronald McDonald or French fries or something. I don't know if somebody's eating them or driving past a McDonald's or it's up ahead or you're, it's, it's passing you or you just did or I don't know something or maybe you're in there doing something at McDonald's. Or maybe that could be somebody's last name as well. McDonald's. McDonald. Okay, I'm not going to take these, just keep going, and then I'm going to do some charms, and see. Okay. Oh. Weird vibes. Okay, they just gave me the name Susan, or Suzanne, or Su, Su, Sufi, Sufi, Suf, Su so they said S-U-F-I. Okay, I don't know how to say that. And also the name Zhu, like Z-U or Z-H-U, Zhu. Um, okay, and uh, now they're saying Hawaii. There's something, I don't know, Tiki or Hawaii or TikTok. Tiki, Hawaii or TikTok. That's interesting. All right, let me get a couple charms for you guys see what's up here oh wow gigantic snake here slytherin snake it's also somebody they just said um somebody might live somewhere where there are winding roads oh is that a Beatles song the long and winding road um winding roads they're just also saying yeah definitely snake energy could be a, a zodiac chinese sign of the snake but i'm also picking up um Maybe somebody's traveling down a very windy road. Um, somebody's also, there's an energy of shedding their skin. I don't know. <sighs> shedding skin and becoming brand new. Okay. And then we have the pink flower again. That's to me was yesterday here. That was the cherry blossom. But also this can be, um, pink flower can be a, um, how can I say this? <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it to your imagination. You know, somebody's pink flower. <laughs> Somebody has a pink flower. I don't like to go there, but that's where we went. So pink flower. Okay. And then there is a bird here, a starling. Oh, this is a starling. Okay. I don't know what connection you might have to a starling, nor do I know what that means. Um, but I can tell you, you might see a starling or something to do with like a like a tweet or a bird a starling okay you might see a tweet if you're on if you use that social media twitter there might be a tweet of some sort that you might see that will be very very profound in regards to a relationship with somebody here this person um and also if you see a starling or you start seeing these types of birds somewhere, um, I know that depending on where you live, that makes a huge difference, but somebody might see one. That's a sign that this reading is for you. If you don't, it doesn't mean it's not because there's other qualifiers. Just keep that in mind. 
Okay, and the last one I'm gonna do here is a strawberry. Very beautiful, delicious, delicious strawberry. Um, why do strawberries have seeds on the outside versus on the inside? Is it because they grow on um, plants? They don't grow in the ground, they grow off of plants maybe? I don't know, I don't, <laughs> I should know this at my age, but um, it's just something that I paid attention to. There's something here to do with strawberries, okay? Could be ice cream, it could be um, somebody's favorite flavor. Um, it could be like a lip gloss or maybe it's a car scent. There's something here to do with the scent of strawberry. It could also be a nickname. You could also be eating a strawberry or e doing something like eating some strawberries or strawberry bubble gum. Who knows? But there's definitely an energy here of something to do with very sweet berries. Okay. I love you very, very much, Virgo. So I hope that you enjoy this reading. I hope it was helpful. Again, if you need a personal reading, definitely click the link in the description box below to book that. I still have my February special going and some slots open for February month of love. And yeah, I'll be back here tomorrow, you guys, with your weekend reading. And yeah, that's it. So take care, you guys. Love you. Bye.